What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Florida State versus Miami college football matchup going down Saturday, November 11th, 2023. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games I love the most, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. But let's get to this one between... Florida State and Miami, and Florida State coming into this one 9-0 on the year, 6-3 against the number. After a 24-7 win over Pitt in their last matchup, failing to cover his 20.5 point favorites, but still getting the victory nonetheless to remain unbeaten. Meanwhile, Miami coming into this one 6-3 uh, on the year, 4-5 against the number after a 20-6 loss on the road as 6.5 point favorites against NC State. And uh, it's just, it's been a rough month. Uh, for Miami. I think that's just the best way to put it nicely. They had the whole kneel down fiasco against Georgia Tech. Uh, they get the nice road win over Clemson as in a bounce back, but then you go and narrowly get by Virginia. You lose outright last week against NC State. Maybe they got caught looking ahead to this game. Uh, Miami did, but you know, it's still, it is what it is. And now Miami comes into this game on a bit of a low, but Florida State hasn't been convincing, you know, against, they weren't convincing against Pitt. You know, they've been beating up on teams left and right, but they've been beating up on teams that have had some issues as of late. You know, let's just go work our way backwards. You beat Wake Forest by 25 on the road, a Wake Forest team that has been nowhere close to what they were last season. Granted, Sam Hartman down to Mitch Griffiths, there's going to be a, a bit of a, a, a downgrade. Duke, a Duke team that just has had quarterback issues and inefficient quarterback play. A Syracuse team that inexplicably has been terrible, and part of that I think is because Garrett Schrader is banged up. And then, you know, the wins over Virginia Tech a decent Virginia Tech team, but uh, still probably weren't anywhere near what they were as of late in that game. Then you go back to the wins that are probably, that are that are a lot better. The road win over Clemson, win over LSU to start the year. So, But I'm just saying, the last few weeks, you can make a case that Florida State hasn't had the toughest opposition. Now Miami, well, maybe we're at the low point with Miami, but I think this could be a bit of a buy low spot on the, on the Canes. And this is a rivalry of rivalries. If there's anything I have learned in working with Mitch for the last few years, it's that this is the rivalry in Florida. Um, these two teams hate each other. And when you're getting two plus touchdowns with Miami in a spot like this, I kind of have to look at them here. You know, Florida State, they, I think they want to make a statement here, but they also want to remain unbeaten. I think it's sort of that one of those cases of just get in, get out by any means necessary, just get the win. And um, I think that's what you're going to see here from Florida State, but by no means do I expect Miami to make it easy for them. I look for Miami to really, you know, buckle up the chin straps here. The, the hits are going to be extra hard in this game. And like I said, there's one thing I've learned from Mitch is you could go, and I'm going to steal one of his, his sort of um, analogies here. You could go 0-11. Both these teams could go 0-11 in a single year. But as long as the one game that they win in a year would be this game, fans would be okay. And I think that's what Miami's got to do here. I think Miami's just going to come in, at least keep this game close. Could potentially spring the outright upset here. Um, again, I'm not saying they will. I'm just saying it's a possibility, especially in a rivalry game. Um, I think the points are going to have some value here, especially now that we're up over two touchdowns from what I'm seeing. So give me uh, Miami and the points in this one. And that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. And while you're at our YouTube channel, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can make so you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops here at Pick Dogs. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.